And Jack's outside. Just like, yeah. Just yeah. Follows, yeah. follows. Yeah. 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 Once you see him get outside, he kind of like stands up and he's like, oh, that feels good. Stretch your back, <laughs> stretch your shoulders. <laughs> I can stand up straight. Yeah, once again, Lumi saw just saucer eyed up at Jack because he's so huge. Oh! Are you I think my cane is right. probably bigger than you are. You guys, yeah, you guys fluff them. Alright. Is there anything you guys need before we head out to our mission? Any? I don't have a lot, so just have whatever I have in my bag. Si- si- sidebar, before before that happens, Hyogo, Hyo- I'll take a munch on his bone, he's gonna look up at Jack and say... How old is Hyogo? 5'8", 5'9". Oh, I thought you said that he was like a big furry guy. Well, big for her. Big for her! Yeah. She's five, she's, she's five two. Okay. Let's bump up to six. Yeah, let's make him six. You'd be, you'd be Basketball boy. player. Basketball, Basketball player. Yeah. Six. You're yeah. how tall? Nine something. I'm eight. Oh, big. So so then, out of, out of left field, Hyoko starts speaking giant. Wow, are you a giant? <laughs> Are you a <laughs> Let's speak Do you speak, you speak with <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak giant? Uh, Jack hears you and uh, looks down and in common returns. Uh, I can tell that you're speaking what sounds to be a dialect of giant. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't fully speak it. I can recognize it, but I don't speak it. So you're not giant? I, I am not Jack. Wow, what the heck are you? Oh no, do what I say. Yes. You're just huge, man. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm sure he's heard it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's just who I am. That accent. Let's leave it at that. Right, <clears throat> so you guys, uh, yeah, how are you finding your way to the... So yeah, I think we should head straight there. That's why I was asking if they was, have mm-hmm. to get anything, if they need anything, armor or whatnot. I I'm, no. I'm all set. I'm pretty set. I was gonna use my nose, but so many smells here, it's kind of confusing for me. Sorry, guys. Smells. Some yes. really nice smells. Like mm. you'd be like salivating mm. at some points, wow. <laughs> and then you get a smell of body, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> shocks you back to reality. <laughs> so you guys um make your way. See part of to the seedy part of town, down by the docks. Down but over the other the side, <laughs> you're not like right out onto the docks, it's almost like the docks have come up. Mm-hmm. And the closer that you get to the water, the seedier the town becomes. Mm-hmm. This is where the uh, trades is, but this is also where kind of like the poorer folk live. Mm-hmm. But you see a trail of people coming up, sailors especially, coming up from a ship that has just docked in and they come up from the docks and immediately turn into what almost looks like a shack by comparison to the the in the tavern that you were just in this one is like half its size and outside is a sign that is swinging in the sea air and it's basically a little image of a goblin being punched in the face and this <laughs> is the goblin smasher or my tail is like kind of like Wrapped around me. Tense up wow. by this. No, you just relax. Yeah. Well, you don't know this place like I do. Oh, have you been here before? before? Not to this particular part of town, but my dad and I used to perform around Southport a lot. Well, if you're tense, they'll notice. I can't help it. I'm trying to overcome my fears, but it's easier said than done. Don't worry, we're all here to support each other. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'll do my best. Who goes in first? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go in. <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell the group. Uh, what's the plan here? I. I'm thinking that I will approach inside, talk to the, uh, talk to the barkeep, and ask him about this character, Phoenix. I shall go under the ruse of a bodyguard looking for a new client to protect. I can often uh, get away with things like that. People assume things about mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. All right. I was gonna go and try sniffing him out because I think she said it smelled like herbs or something yeah. like that. Uh, oh, herbs. Herbs. Yeah. Herbs. 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 Her
I not only am I, I British, I'm Scottish. In. So not only is it an H sound, there's an E sound as well. So it's herbs. 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 You're all welcome. Herbs. <laughs> yeah. Herbs. Thinking You're all herbs. welcome just to make it doubly difficult for y'all Americans. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, should, we should probably not all go in in one group, obviously. Why would mm. we be group like this together? We should also have someone to protect the uh, exits. I think we should scope the place out, find alternative exits to the best of our mm. ability. I can scope the place out. I think I can blend in. You look like the kind of character that might have, uh, might know those things. I'll leave it to you. You want to scout? Yeah. Are you going to scout stealthily? Yeah. Then roll me stealth. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. Plus oh, no. six stealth. I'm really good at this, but apparently not this time. What are you doing, sir? Oh, actually, I'm not scouting. Never mind. Roll I'm 20? Going, I'm going in the front. So and then add your deck, your stealthy oh, selfie. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Before you go in, 16. Um, goes, uh, Ulidum goes up to you and goes, um, uh, if, if you don't mind, could I give you some guidance? Please. All right. And she um, clutches at the, the amulet that she was, like, holding at earlier with during the top with Nada and uh wait you're eight feet tall so Lumi can only like Do you like what, me what, on what my thigh? Thigh. Okay. <laughs> Hand on thigh. Beep. And go and like whispers a prayer. And um yeah and now I believe that lasts one minute, right? Uh-huh. So yes. once before the spell ends the target uh, you can roll a d4 and add the number roll to one ability check of your choice. Or after making the check. Yes. There. That is a concentration spell. Yes. So she's holding it. Okay. Only one minute. Yes, it's, it's a counter. Mm -hmm. check For you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. It's like, mm, I can feel the magic. Can you feel the magic what tonight? Else? Okay, so I'm leaving... Um, Adrian to scope out the place. I don't know who's helping. Yep. So as Adrian like um, puts his hood up even tighter around his head, yeah. and just kind of like shimmies around the wall. It's yeah. basically a it's 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 a one block type building. Uh, the door, uh, the main door where everybody's going through where the sign is is here, mm -hmm. and up above it is where the tavern is. As you scope your way around, you notice a couple of windows along one side. All right. Along the other side, that uh, you can tell that. The back round this side, that's where the bar and the kitchens would be. So there is a window and a back door, uh, but that's not where um, Ogakusan. Ogakusan? What? In English. Ogakusan? Customer. Customer. Ogakusan. Thank you! Ogakusan. That's not where the customers or the patrons or the, the clientele would be going through. That's the back door for like the kitchens and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then all around this side, um, there are windows that you can see into the the bar seating area where you were sitting like before, kind of like the same thing, only smaller. Mm -hmm. You can see that there's like a bard playing in the corner. But then everything else is all up on the second floor. That's where the inn is, the tavern part. Got it. Is the back door open? The back door is not open. However, there is a window that is open, and you can hear the kitchen staff working. If I look through, are they like right there? They're like right there, yeah. Okay, got it. You can like, beep. okay, yeah. they're there, cool, bye. Shoop, 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 yep, shoop, yep, shoop. Yep. But the noises that you're hearing as you're scoping around the outside is very violent, but <laughs> very, like if the tavern that you just came from was like the Tokyo, you're now in the Osaka. Everything is very, yeah, 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 yeah. everything's loud, everything is big, everyone is like punching each other to say hello. There's like sweat and teeth and stuff flying everywhere. Ew. Everything's very different. Right. Exactly almost what you'd expect from the CD part of town. <laughs> you notice, if you do look in through the window, you notice there's a dwarf that runs between the kitchen and the, the bar mm -hmm. and her phone goes off. And it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, as you come back round yeah, to the rest of the, the party, um, yeah, you've seen right. windows and you've seen a back door. So, do you tell us this information? Yeah, I will right, be yeah. waiting for your report. 
Yeah, it, I said um, there's a back door. It's locked. However, there's a window back in the kitchen. It's open. If we could, we would be able to fit, but maybe if we need to make a quick exit, we could unlock the door from the inside. But perhaps. What I'm worried about is him escaping through that exit, not us. Yeah. Not if we post someone out here. I see. I think that we should have uh, we should have some of the group outside, but easily and quickly, readily to come in or to move to the back. All right. Does anybody like try to look in through the windows at all? Like you were looking in through the windows. So she at the did back. what she did, but we're like away from it. For yeah, now. you guys are at like. Okay, okay, okay. Go I was back. asking if I could do what? What can my passive perception get me from outside? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. It's a building. <laughs> that is a building! Yeah. And it has a door! And those are windows. Cool. I suspect that this may in fact be the Goblin Smasher, given the <laughs> sign that says... <laughs> the Goblin the Smasher! Goblin. <laughs> Inside is really rough. They're all rough types. Of you, you, you guys have seen Tangled, right? Yes. You yeah. know the bar that they're ah, going to? Yeah. yeah, it's like that. It's, it's like, like that. that. It's like yeah. that, yeah. Are you tough enough to get in the salty splatoon? <laughs> I have a dream! There's just a girl on the table. I have, I a, have dream. a dream! <laughs> She's the bard. Yes. <laughs> I, I can volunteer to wait by the exit in case he escapes. Mm. And I, I can, I, I'm confident I can get him. I shall... Mm, mm. My magic um, users, do we have any kind of magical communication available to us? Does anybody know message? Oh, give me a moment. I don't think I do. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's a dream. I can hear well, but it. that's about it. If we don't, that's fine. You could do like a whistle. Oh yeah. So the whistle <coughs> signals everyone get to the front. I'm God. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. I uh, I think I that I'll give God. you uh, <laughs> I'll give you a nice sharp whistle if there's anything that uh, I need, or if I need you to uh, run to the back. Can you howl? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That might fit in a little bit more than a whistle. They say the <laughs> werewolves only answer to their own kind. <laughs> Yes, but uh, we'll, we'll hope it doesn't come to that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where should I wait in the meantime? I, can. I, I yeah, said so that uh, you guys should post along the outside and I'll go in myself briefly. So you, I'll go in too. So I'm telling you, I can smell them. Adrian, yeah, I can go with you. Like we can work together in the back. Mm. We can maybe yeah, stay by the back. You, you he comes, right. a Jack goes over and just kind of hats to like size you up and like you look like a well put together mm. type you uh fighter yes i'm the, i'm a monk way of the open palm very good you can handle way yourself the open palm. <clears throat> okay what well about... uh, we shall go well, I yes. think uh, you and i will stand out here mm. i think that the four of you should remain posted out front in the in the event of two anything two in the front and two in the back yes oh. we were going to stay at the back yeah, entrance the but back. I were, i'm wondering if well at the front well, I think you two should be you two should be ready to come in and help us. Mm, and you two front. can run and block people from the back. We will stay. But that sounds yes. good. Sounds all good right. to me. Sounds good to me too. Wonderful. Will so you be all right, Jack. Yes. I've uh, I can handle myself. Yeah. So I uh, open the door, crouch hey. on in. It's shit fest. Adrian, actually, I will <laughs> situate yeah. Back b- before I go and in, and ready I just weapons. kind of uh, pause for a second, like. And uh, let's go inside. And, and then, then, yeah, let's just, uh, Hyoga goes an opposite way of him. Just to, he's just trying to, he's subtly sniffing. He, he does that thing where, like, um, you know, like when people open the door and look in and kind of size everyone up, size the room up? Right. I'm going to say both of you give me a perception check with advantage because you've got the height over everyone and you've got the scent. Ooh. The nose. So I'm gonna give you the guys nose, a nose. Nose, nose. I'm going to check my dice. That's okay. Because you're actually bigger than most of the okay, big good. guys in good. this room, and that is It helps. I got, I got a nat 20. Good boy. I got a 14 and a 1, so I'm going with the 14. You're overwhelmed with smells right now. Like, there are a lot of smells, but you can kind of smell a lot something of them not almost great. floral. <laughs> But they're just so drowned out by the stench of bloke. Whereas you, straight over the top, the stench of bloke. I I will always be British. 
I love that I'm the talking Brit here, the talking Scott. You are. But as you scope round over the head of, over everybody's heads, pew, straight in the, not in like the corner, but just to the side of where the bard is, is performing in the corner, there's a table. And at the table there are like three travellers. One of them has a cowl up, but you're almost certain that they're all women. And from the back, you can see this jacket. It's uh, in blues, uh, but with this embroidered phoenix up the back. In reds and oranges and yellows. You can see two horns coming out like this. You can see the, the, the hair is really long. And it's almost like ombre in the same colours of the phoenix that's embroidered on this jacket. From reds all the way down through oranges and yellows. But it's tied, still in a really messy way. But the arms come out as he's talking to these travellers, and you can see so his three women, three okay. women that you can see their you can see their faces. Mm -hmm. One of them's got a cowl up, but you're sure it's a woman. You're just looking at the back of this guy. Human, any non-human races, and the women. They look at a glance. They're all human or elf or something like that. Yeah. No, no, like half orcs or, or stuff like that, but. You can see this guy's um, horns. When he puts his arms up, you can see that his skin is kind of like flesh colored, but with like an undertone of red. But on it are the red scaly patches that Imelda told you about. And he's just kind of like regaling them with whatever he's saying. He's got, uh, he's adorned in bling. He's got sparkly bracelets. He's got rings on every finger. And they're laughing and giggling as if like whatever he just said was the funniest thing they had ever heard. And, uh, yeah. So scoping the place out quickly, <clears throat> uh, there's going to be a bartender and the bar, yep. tables and patrons. The bar, as you walk in through the door, the bar is towards the left. And that's the side where the kitchen and stuff is on. Mm. As you walk straight in, uh, the, the standees are to the left and the tables are to the right. So pretty full, pretty sparse. Pretty full. Like, you would have to squeeze past people to get. Okay. However, it's not so full that you couldn't. Does that make sense? I'm just curious about, like, is it, is it kind of, like, real quiet? And, no. Or is it very no. busy and loud? No. Okay. Yeah, no. This is all rubbing off Hyoga's, like, senses. Like, ugh. You can barely see people for people. Just at your height. How tall are you? Six. Six? Yeah. Oh, you're not too bad. There are some people, though, that are like your height, but twice your width. Whoa. But dwarfed by this guy over here, by, yeah. by Jack. Occasionally he'll, he'll hop up just to see where Jack's at. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you hopping up on a table? No, 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 just hopping in. Just oh, I see, you're just like jumping. So like, hur, 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 <laughs> like a dog trying to see over a fence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally yoga. He's little like, ears flopping, I love that. <laughs> uh, you can't miss Jack. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so Jack slowly uh, makes his way over to uh, Phoenix. Okay, squash him. You get, you get a couple of, oi, watch it, mate! And it's like you almost knock over someone's him, mate. Like, what? Never mind. Uh, you carry <laughs> on, sir. <laughs> Bloody and, hell. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Jack uh, slowly and cautiously makes his way over, but yeah. not cautious in the, like, yeah, cautious, yeah, yeah, yeah. but in the, yeah. Play cool, play cool. The <clears throat> girls are still giggling, like they're very it's 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 very much a <laughs> kinda giggle. And nah. all three of them are doing it. Um. But then as you approach their eyes kind of like widen and look up. And at that point the tiefling notices it and like turns and looks up at you. And He's very handsome. He's very not like the sketch that was drawn. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's so like all around the outside of his face on, and, and on parts of his neck, you see like the, the patching of, of the red scales. His eyes are all blacked out. It's just two voids where his eyes would be. There's like no pupils, no irises or anything. Um, his hair is all kind of pulled back and his horns come out to like a point, almost like a crown around his head. And he kind of like looks up, and he just... Hello? Hello, nice to meet you. I have uh, been trying to find and meet you. I hear that you deal in some uh, unique goods. Ah. 
I see that my reputation precedes me yet again. Yes, um, if you're looking for fine wares, I have them. What are you looking for? <clears throat> looking for fine wares is good. Also looking for uh, more the market of employment. I know that men such as yourself with fine goods such as you have naturally probably have enemies. A man such as myself can make sure you are protected and your wares are untouched. Well, as uh, tempting as that might be, I work alone. But thank you. Don't worry about me. Nobody's caught me yet. <laughs> mm. And he like leans over to the girls and they're like... <laughs> Really well, uh, he's sitting like this, like he's turned on his chair, like the back of his chair is here, and he's just sitting looking at you like... Is there anything else? Yes, uh, well if you ever change your mind, you can find me, I'll be around town. But I would be interested to take a look at your wares. I am, uh, I'm curious about, uh, to see if some of the, what I've heard matches up with the reality. Well, let me show you what I've got. and. From almost seemingly nowhere behind his jacket, the tails kind of like fly up as he whips out a bag and sits it down. He says, is there, no, is there anything that you are particularly looking for? We have cups, we have jewelry, cups. we have cups. Yeah. We have little things to find from, uh, from around the four corners of the continent. I, I have uh, been around. Looking for a nice gift for a lady friend of mine, perhaps some sort of jewelry. Ah, no problem. Now let me see what rings, we've got. amulets, bracelets, mm -hmm, the like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. necklaces. Well, let me see. And he rummages around inside the bag. Only the finest. I want something, not something that I can get at any kind of jeweler, but something unique, something that's hard to find a duplicate of. Mm, I have just the thing. No, this bracelet. And he pulls out and it's gold bangle with a green gemstone on the front and he holds it up like this and it's all like ornately decorated around the hoop. Because this bracelet, when worn, grants the wearer protection against most spells, especially those of elemental intent. Mm. Uh, if you uh, focus your energy on the gem once a day, you can choose a element that perhaps maybe you will encounter during the day or whatever, and uh, you can become slightly resistant to its damage. How does that sound? It looks nice, but uh, he kind of does this and does this to his... Ah, uh, yes, that is a problem. Maybe you... something, uh, rather than something to wear, maybe something like a necklace might be nice. A necklace, no problem. Much easier to size on a neck like mine, or oh, yeah. any friend I would make. Well, let me have a look. <laughs> he rummages through the bag again, and he pulls out a pendant that is gold, with a gold circle and a red gem in this one, and he says, if you're ever, if you're ever in trouble, Maybe the battlefield is bringing you down a little bit. You need a little bit of energy boost. This one will stop you from... Well, if you're bleeding out or anything, it's very good. The magic that is within this one will uh, heal those wounds right up. Hmm. And it should go around. Maybe... It will does look like it fit. That does sound nice. I'm not... Power isn't as important. I've seen gemmed necklaces before, right? I want something that I just can't find at any other jeweler. You can't find any of this in any other jeweler? Oh, I can find gems and I can attach them to amulets. I want something that's handcrafted and personalized in a unique way. Well, perhaps maybe you should go to a jeweler. Okay. <laughs> well, if you don't have it, that makes sense to me, I suppose. Well, I thought you said you had everything. I don't think I said I had any everything. Pretty sure I said I had. Uh... Actually, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Thank you for your time, and look me up if you ever change your mind. I'm sure I won't, but I'll keep you in mind too if I need any other future goods. He like glances over at the woman, and they're all just like. <laughs> 
and he just uh, leans back and says, uh, "If you, uh, if you ever need anything, you might find me on the streets. I peddle my wares there too. Around this part? Ah, uh, mostly up by the markets. That's where the the good peddling is. Good to know. Have a good day, sir. Mm, you too. Mm. So, uh, are you doing something, Stephen? Or? Yeah, I was gonna say. So, Jack's well, gonna get up and start turning around and hitting his way out of the bar. So, because there's so much like a coffee and noise right now, like every time he jumps, and he sees like, Jack's really talking to this guy a lot. Is that him? Mm. <laughs> Must check. <laughs> <laughs> and so he tries to like lower himself a little bit, and he sees the, the bright colors. Of, oh, maybe this is this Phoenix guy, but. The nose knows. So he needs a woof. He needs a big old. Oh no, a big old woof. A big, sn- a big old snifferoonie. A big woof. So he needs to like. So he's probably be ducking a bit low. And when he sees that like that long kind of trail, he just wants to kind of grab it stealthily. And think of- Stealth check, please. Are you leaving the bar or are you just taking a step back? <coughs> I will start heading out towards the bar. Right. Depending on what Steven does, Where's so I'm like, just wait, watching for him. Yeah, yeah. chill us chill us yeah. 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 We'll say that this is happening yeah. as you're... We are, we, we are at the back. Yeah. Oh wait, it's Jeff. Yeah. Nice! Nice! Are you... Do you have that's right? so you nice! Have, you have Corey's Three. thing right there. Oh right, that's true. <laughs> Three, plus, Three plus seven though. Oh, that's ten. It's cool. ten. So, with a ten, you're getting a cacophony of scents. You're getting herbal things, you're getting floral things, you're getting smoky things. You're also getting alcohol. You're not sure how often this jacket gets washed. (laughs) (laughs) It obviously has been on the ground a lot. You can smell the ground on it. Um, You can smell things that have been spilt on it. You can also smell things that maybe are like Bodily things. Guy's been freaky with his jacket. Freaky with his jacket. Freaky with his jacket. Sit on. Take your coat. But as you start to walk away, you notice some big guys coming into the bar. But their demeanor is different from everybody else. They're very aggressive as they walk in, and they slam the door open and they look around. Like, where is he? And they slam their way through, and they're like pushing people through, and they walk all the way up to our phoenix, or the guy with the phoenix jacket. Is, um, we in that case, I will just kind in. of uh, stop yeah. to the side and watch and see what happens. Did we see these people coming? You guys will have seen them come in. Yeah, if you guys are at the front, you will have seen them come in. Yikes! This isn't. I totally changed accent. This ain't good. Yeah, I changed. I changed. I changed that tiefling's accent like three times throughout that. It went from like Irish to Scottish to the southern accent somewhere in between. It's like. But uh, yeah, he's like, like, oh yeah, he was Irish and then he was Scottish and then all the Americans are like, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, 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 right. I remember when you were Scottish and then you're Irish. Yeah, it was so embarrassing. You could make a mistake like that. (laughs) <laughs> so you notice the uh, trio of yeah. big, broad, bald, almost like just burly guys walking in with anger and intent, and they sh- they push their way through all the way up, and they get up to the bar with the the table where the tiefling is, and they start going uh, Phoenix, and you see the tiefling turn round. Yeah, if you're like still holding onto his jacket, you're like looking up at these guys, <laughs> <laughs> and Ph- Phoenix like turns round. And he just says, Whoa! Whoa! That's not my name. And they tower over him and they point in his face and it's like, Don't give me any more of your crap. You need to like pay me back for what you owe me because this cup that you sold me doesn't do anything! The liquid goes in it and it vanishes! Okay. What is this? Can you hear this from the, from the outside? You can do a perception check. Yeah, also, oh, can we also? Uh, well, well, you guys are looking it, in. Right? The people just, inside. Would hear I, it. Yeah, it's right. The, these three people are coming in, mm-hmm. and they're looking so pretty burly and bad. Like, I would like to efficiency. follow. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you so guys like, are inside, inside if, the door. if he's uh, going, I'm going. I, I then you guys are here. So we're like, and yeah, so we're just like inside the door. Yeah, thirteen. I have a thirteen. You can hear. You have a nine. Oh yeah. 
Whatever. You can hear yeah, something. Yeah. You can hear a ruckus. You can't make out words, but you can hear raised angry voices. Fifteen. And you can hear about the same. You can kind of make out words like uh, you hear the word phoenix being shouted very, very clearly. <laughs> One thing to make sure quickly, uh, everyone knows that their proficiency bonus is three, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. It is here. So they all kind of like encroach around. They kind of like kick you out the way a little bit. So now that there's this tiefling... They're not kicking Jack out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of like sitting in his chair and just like, that's not my name, guys. You know my name is Fen. You, what do you guys like? Seems like but then one of the girls from behind kind of leans in and she was like, I thought you said your name was Phoenix. You just told us it was. And he's just <laughs> like, <laughs> Failure. Failure. <laughs> Failure. Oh, man. It looks like you, uh, I thought you were all fine on your own. <laughs> Look, guys. And he stands up and he kind of goes up and he puts a hand on one of the big burly guy's chest. He's like 5'9", he's not the tallest. Mm -hmm. And these guys are huge, like towering. He just puts a hand up on their chest and goes, look, I'm quite sure we can work this out. And he like walks him round so that he's like turning around as he's talking to him. Yeah. And now the guy is between the girls at the table and him. Mm -hmm. And he just says, the day will come when we figure all this out but it is not this day and then pff, he casts this fire spell and suddenly he's gone oh. the the guy that was in front of him got hit full blast and he falls back into the table the three girls they scream and they stand up and they try to get out of the way do we hear this you guys hear everything yeah so the people that are in the room uh, who's got the clear? You've probably got the clearest shot. Mm -hmm. uh, you you blink as the the flash of fire mm -hmm. happens, and then as you turn around, you see uh, you see the tiefling. He's like hopping from table to table, aiming for the door. Mm. Oh wait, after him! I uh, I immediately like whistle in like one of those really loud whistles. <laughs> yeah, we're already in the door. And I start charging for him. I'll cool. just run after him. Yep. Yo, I guess we're, yeah. we're oh, getting okay. ready for so the back door. We can hear it's coming towards us. It's coming that way. So, yeah. so we're see. like by, we're kind of by the door. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so we got the weapons so ready. and. Hyoga, he uses like the, the big guys like as a gap, like a pole, like a, not pole on chain, like a, a horse. Like a, like a, like a, like a, yeah, like a, a bolt. And picks himself up and throws him on a table and is in pursuit. Jumping, he's gotta do jumping from tables. Dexterity saving throw, please. Ready's weapon. Not acrobatics. Are you staying? Oh yeah, acrobatics. That's what I meant. Are you staying by the back door, or are you going back around to what the do front? You think? Should we run head there? Yeah. Nice. Oh god. Yeah. Nineteen plus seven. It's like a no, fuck. It's flawless. Discussion. You like <laughs> somehow spring <laughs> up onto one of the biggest guys no, I, I who's kind of like. He, he's he's recoiling it. from the so explosion that just happened, and, just, and you just like go just like, over him mm. and Bar leap effortlessly. And you even do like a little <laughs> flip in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Someone holds up a ten. <laughs> if he comes back here, I think I can get him. All right. And you're like chasing so after him. Tala is running towards the front. Uh, or Adrian's at the back. She's r running back with her weapon ready. What are you guys at the door doing? Um. Yeah. So you guys. I, should have heard my whistle. So. Mm, I we did. Well, yeah, we we're did, inside. We yeah, we're inside. Um, there's not. Yeah, actually, you don't have long. He's like yeah. very skillfully hopping over mm. here. Um, Can it, if Adrian like peeks in through the kitchen I window, think. would anyone notice him? With the at this nails? point, no. no. Yeah, so he's. But all he, you see is the kitchen. You can't see through to the on. like. It's not an open plan oh. kitchen. There's like a wall and a door that leads out to the bar. Got You'd it. have to come round to see um, into like the bar section. I think it's good to, yeah. Okay. So we're heading. I'm running there. Also, at the same time that this is happening, mm -hmm. the three big burly guys are correcting themselves from being knocked over and are now also in pursuit of the tiefling. Mm. Ooh. So these big brawly men, he'll jump from table to table and Jack run in too. It's just, it's a... Yeah, Jack, this is a uh, Jack big mess. Jack moving everything out of his way as he comes through it. <laughs> I think if he, as the chaos is going on, I think oh, shit, Adrian would go to one of the side windows and try to watch 
inside. <laughs> you see a circus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great. You're almost like, whoa. This guy bolting over people and doing flips in the air. A <laughs> tiefling wanna... with a big blue jacket flailing behind him, just like. Where's hoping. our meeples? Uh, here you are. Um, basically, the tiefling gets to the door. The front door? He jumps off a table and he gets to the front door right as. Hyoga. Hyoga is getting to the table you just leapt off of. And as Jack is tearing towards him with the three guys, the three big burly guys in tow. So as he jumps off from the table right in front of the the front door, ready to dash out, what are the two guys? What are you two doing? You know, this actually looks like a good representation <laughs> of scale. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if I'm running over in the time being, so I'm, this the, let's say there's the back and I'm running over to them, so where would I be in the state of the things? Kind of stuff that I would you could get right up to that corner. Use. Okay. Mm. Like, can't like you can see round, but I'm not up. there yet. I can just like... Yeah. No, 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 you can get like, um, move yourself round onto the corner. So like... Here? No, move, move. Forward, 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 forward. Oh yeah. There, okay. Perfect. I'm just preparing my monster man because okay, I just realized I need that. No, no, no. That could be good. I have to do. I mean, to for the things I have to be. To stop the, the burly guys from catching up on him. Well, I was going to do that. <sighs> right. It's yeah. time. What's happening? Uh, okay. All right. Well, as soon as I catch him, uh, if I have caught him, I will attempt to grapple. So if I do, um, is, am, am I hitting him yet? Am I reaching him? Can grab him? Same for him. You can try. You can certainly try. Okay, I will try to do that. Yeah, As I'm doing that, I'll like, stop tell him. I mean, I could try Crown of Bend. This try doesn't it. have to go hard. This doesn't have to go have badly. To, it's up to you. Spells. Well, you're going to have yeah. to try. Don't make this easy. Don't make this hard. You're going to have to try and grab him first. Yeah. yeah I'm... I'll be saying that as I'm grabbing him. I will pretty awesome. <laughs> Slippery. Slippery. People people always tell me that when I DM, I pull the same face for rolling badly as I do for rolling great. So, because so it's all exciting for me. It's just a strength. I add to that, right? Yeah, and I'm gonna dex it to dodge. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna magic missile. I rolled a straight eighteen. Uh, so he, you, as you say that to him out loud, he hears it, and then turns and dodges you, and he just goes, "What did you say?" It's like, know, if this it's doesn't have to go try. badly. We can make this smooth. Don't. Too. Smooth sounds good to me! And he dashes okay. for the door. And he gets out of the door. So like, now he's crossed the threshold. He's outside. I am going to a wild shape. Into mm. a huge cave bear. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And then so it's all... And then one move I'm just like, in chin mode. And I'm just like, trying to... like Jesus! Try, Jesus! Are you going to try to grapple him? Jesus. Yeah, I'm just going to be like... So right, you bear hug him. Go for it. Yeah, he's gonna try and dodge out the way. So strength check. Four, 19. 19 will That's definitely beat his nap one. Oy! So <laughs> as, so, oh, oh. so as uh, he like dashes out, and he sees this giant oh, Jesus. bear in the middle of a dock city, <laughs> and he just like lands. Are you are you like bear hugging him? Yeah, I'm just like. Oh. All right, and All I'm right. just and I'll, no one can speak animal. I take it. No. Oh wait, you well, can. I can. Well, okay. Yeah. I can speak. He didn't come back. I don't think That's animal talk. Like, nice. <laughs> good job. Good job. I, I don't know. I I just had an idea. He has like grappling stuff and and uh, rope. Can he get up onto the roof? You can certainly try. All right, he's gonna try to get himself onto the roof. So the way that works is you have to have a climbing speed. Do you um, have a grappling hook? I have pitons. Yeah. Oh, yes. it's like mountain climb. You're gonna mountain climb up. I don't know how. Do you, what do you use to? Pitons climb? are the things you hammer into the wall. To yeah. Attach yeah. While you're climbing. Basically, what you want I have to do. Rope, though. You do have rope, but it's gonna take time for you to like last through the chimney and then pull yourself can I, up. Can I try to free climb the side? How tall is the building? Quite. It's like a building. Building, building. It's, right, like, it, it's a it's a two to three story building. Is the door? Is the window open on the side? You can. Yeah, you can. You can get in through the window if you All really right. want to get inside. All right, he'll he'll get in through the window. Okay, and then try to like go in 
from the back. <laughs> if you're coming in from the back, you've now you're now seeing the three big burly guys coming towards the door where mm-hmm. the ruckus is. You can hear a bear growling, and you can hear the tiefling kind of like panicking for his life. She's like, no, 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 don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. What the fuck is a bear doing here? Oh my and, god! Uh, as soon as Louis sees uh, Louis sees the bear, uh, she casts uh, speak with animals on herself just okay. to comprehend. So, yeah, the, yeah. she's just, Tala's just growling and just holding the the guy in place, it's, like you. And then she's probably just going, Rawr! and if you can hear, it, it's like, nope, you're not. You, nope, I can hear. Stay it. put. Like you can understand this. Yeah, I, can I was. Understand. I might just speak in Filipino to make this fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. because I'm the only one who can do understand it? her. Yeah, because she it. can. I was like. Wait, you can speak with animals, right? Because this is perfect because you're Filipino. Oh, um, this will work. <laughs> Do it. I want this. This is a thing that needs to happen. Hyoga must get out the door before the big burly guys, yeah? Yeah, you're in, you're between the burly so, guys. So, Tal's just growing like, Nasa ni wong tao, nandit na yung wong asha! He's gonna shut the door. And so he's just like, He's gonna shut the door? Tal's just like wildly looking for her, like any of her allies. Yay! Huh? Do you wait till Jack is Oh yeah, of course, yeah. So Jack would get out. Probably first, right? Because yeah. right after, like, right. he slipped out of my way. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay, so if Adrian sees him shutting the door, he's like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> so you, you, guys are, you guys are outside. What we'll do is we'll just say for, like, so you're at the door holding it like that, and Jack is huge. Yup. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, turn up the candlestick. That's the guy. And Something. these guys are now at the door trying to get yeah. it open, so I'm going to need you to do a strength check. Okay. Jack's gonna go over to uh, the guy on the bear and talk to him. So, as this one way or another, one Adrian's way trying to get him around, but it'll take him a while at this point, I guess. But no, just walk around. Just walk around. Alright. Oh no, no you're inside! You jumped inside. Yeah, and then Jump back out! out. <laughs> That's what I mean! He's trying to get to the front one way or another, it's just taking him longer than everybody else. Cool. <laughs> right, That's what I mean. Oh, Jack's eight. gonna. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, he's struggling keeping three men behind the Oh, Jack! Oh. Jack's gonna... Jack's gonna look to him and say, <coughs> Just want to ask you some questions. No one needs to get hurt. Jack, I'm about to get hurt! Oh. Okay, so... I, or would you rather that we Wait, leave yeah, you to I'll, I'll, I'll go over We're going to try and hold the door. I'll, I'll, so, I'll I'm just holding the bear. Over. No one has rope. Anyone? I mean, I can't, can't bear hug this guy the whole time. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Wait, tiefling's gonna try and contest. Do you have rope? I don't know. I Is he not? Nope. You get that Guys, a little faster or someone have rope. I have rope. I have rope. He <laughs> 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 okay, so He's fine. He's fine. You're mate. Yeah. Um, but it was and the bears look at you and they're... Yeah, yeah, because, because, because at least Lulu can understand a bear. Mm-hmm. So Lulu is going to start, start like, um, trying to tie Tiefling up. <laughs> you hog tie, hog tie. Well, I'll be like... Oh, yeah. With a nice as, as you're tying so, him up, he's kind of just standing there watching you, and he'll he'll like look you in the eye and just be like, you know, you could have just asked. <laughs> <laughs> the bear's just kind of giving him like the stink eye. It's like you're awful pretty, aren't you? Jack's gonna come over and smack him hard on the back. <laughs> and be like you're gonna answer oh. our questions. You're gonna come with us if we have to. I definitely will if you keep doing that. I'm gonna mess you up. <clears throat> so, uh. How big is he? How tall is he? 5'9. Five 5'9. Nine. Five nine. Okay. I'm gonna look at my bear friend and be like, okay, let's, uh. Everyone, let's get out of here. Uh, Are you gonna let the guys out the door? <laughs> Who's helping with the door right now? So, you have him tied up? Yeah, I, I, I. So, I, the bear's just kinda like. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd, I'd say let's just like pull him into the like the nearest alleyway nearby. You guys, you guys go get the lead. Okay. I'll join you after. And so yeah, Jack's just like we'll, we'll join you. After. Bear's just you looking at you. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna be watching him. Okay. So I'm going with him. I know you and guys. I look at you and I'm like, Adrian's following Stay. Jack. You here. 
And uh, it, I am very graceful. I I am very movie for a bear <laughs> with this big claw, just like right. That's what my Drew just like as well. <laughs> like, she likes I'll say I've got him. Uh, I'll say I've just like picked him up and uh, carrying him. Right. Hey. Yeah, hey, hey, so hey. Tala is just walking. So, so the cat. bear is tall. So you're. This is you, and this is the bear, and the bear is just like the door. Well, I, well, the bear doesn't and have I'll a say, thumb. Uh, so. I'll make. I'll make. He'll cross his legs in your in your princess embrace. Did <laughs> <laughs> you hog tie him? Please hog tie him. Uh, I, I tied I tied up. Um, I imagine you tied him up like this. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. look at everyone like, and be like, like this, and then also his, yeah, his yeah. hands. I know what you guys smell like. Yeah. Go get the lead. So uh, bear. Well, aren't you a fuzzy? As I'm holding him, it's like I'm gonna make this quick and simple now. We are looking for an amulet that you stole from Captain Imelda. Where is it? Uh, well, I can tell you where it isn't. Mm-hmm. On me. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's a- <laughs> well, let me put it this way. You're worth a good amount of the reward, so if I can't give him the amulet, I'll have to give her and you. She didn't seem very happy about that. She seemed happy last night. Okay, <gasps> that's good. Scandal. I mean, Plot twist. She didn't say that you had to have all your bits with you when you came over. Intimidation. <laughs> Oops. That's a. Uh, How's your? That's a fifteen base plus, plus my. Uh, plus. It's fine. Fifteen is what you had to make. He kind of just. Looks at you. Uh, jagged teeth and he's he's my thinking. I'm like I would prefer not to keep doing any messy stuff, but we will if we need to. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. Put me down. Put me down. I can walk. Put me down. I'm gonna we'll keep talk about this. grasp for now. Oh this is different. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, okay, so I don't know where it's gone, but I'll tell you everything I know. And I'm assuming you guys are all listening, also. Mm, yeah. Um, door. Well, uh, are we? Uh, well, you're in the alley. You're, you're also, I'll say that we just kind of like booked out to get away. So she, so us she, three can't hear that. Yeah. But you guys should be able to see where we went. Yeah, we. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm yeah. I, I, I was by your side. Yeah. At this make... point, though, the fact that the door is being held closed is a problem because it's stopping patrons getting in and out of the tavern. The, yeah. Well, the yeah, bear's just going to look at any patrons. Like, just gonna, like, the bear's just like, probably scared of The bear's just like... I thought you guys were just like holding it for a second. We're gone. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're holding it long enough so that we could get like a, a boost of speed away. Yeah, That's what I said as well. You're not going to stay there all night. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no. So I maybe by the time that this conversation is going on, we were just like, all right, three, right. two, one, go! You. And I'm gonna, the bear is running as fast as it can, which is not very... <laughs> that's pretty fast. No, that's it's all four legs. legs. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah, that's 40 speed. I'm kidding. Yeah, You're yeah, yeah. fast. I'm yeah, I was a 40 speed thing. So, yeah, you're a monk. Is anybody riding the bear? <gasps> I was thinking about it, but I'm also... <laughs> afraid, so. Okay, so... And then there's just a bear just like... So he's... The three, the three guys do kind of like fall out of the, the bed onto each other. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they they look up and they kind of notice you guys running off, but you guys get away fine. Yay! Okay. Wow, I'm looking at Cave Bear. So when you guys I look get like that, the, nice, oh, oh, she's beautiful baby. Bear. When you guys like, get like around the, bear, the corner, you, believe you see Jack house. holding a bound oh. tiefling, just intimidating the fuck out of. Kyoko's gonna go right to just smell him, just. You get all the sniffs. Hey, 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 hey. Ask before you stuck your nose in places. <clears throat> Can I sniff you, please? <laughs> sure. Thank you. This is a new one. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure if you get away, I can swing you later. Wait, You're what? very elusive. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, you guys have been hired by Imalda? Yes. Maybe. Well, he already said it, so... Uh, uh, oh. Yes. Well, uh, Points with these two. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, we have. Alright. So, uh, I suppose she's told you all about me then. She doesn't like you very much. No, she, uh, she did. And then she didn't. But yeah. she was fine the other night. Oh. But then, like, you take some... Well, you shouldn't take um, things from people. 
Well, basically, you're a, you're a thief. Yeah, one of the best. The bears look at you and just kind of thinking, like, has this, like, hungry look like... I don't know how <laughs> best you can consider it when you're tied up and there's a bear over you, though. Happens to me a lot, to we be fair. We have a bear. I get tied up by bears a lot. Oh, wow. Not, oh. not, not oh. ones like that, though. with food. I just got it. That <laughs> <laughs> like, was just like... As a bear, the bear's kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't... Uh, I'm not fussy. Multiple bears sometimes as well. Anyway, uh, about the Amalda thing. Look, she's looking for a pendant. I sold it. Alright, I don't have it. You can check me. Go for it. Adrian will start checking him. <laughs> you have a bag of holding, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Just like leans over to like oh, hell yeah, one of you. I like that hand action. Go ahead and take it. Wait. Yeah, claw. Adrian, do it. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 don't break that. Him? Don't break huh? that. Who's, Isn't who's, Adrian, who's taking it? Adrian frisking him? I yeah. yeah. Adrian yeah. should be the one. Yeah, Look. I think it makes Look. sense. Hey, be careful where your hands are going. <laughs> don't break that. Don't let that bear scratch that thing up. Do you know how long it took me to steal one of them? All right, then he starts looking in it. Is, is he just... Uh, no, no, no. H- how a bag of holding works is is that you open it and you envision the thing that you want and it comes oh. to your hand. It's a bag of holding more inside than should be fitting inside. Like yeah, Hermione. like a Mary Poppins bag, basically. Alright, so or the he Hermione tries to think thing. of a Akio Akio thing. Shape in a bottle necklace. Nothing mm. comes no, to look, you. Think like of to... treats. A, a treat. The Are bear is kind of growling and think, and then kind of like doing... Does, does a treat come? <laughs> Actually, um, a small bag of chocolate almonds appears in your hands. Hey, 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 come on now, come Can on. Can you eat this? I can't eat chocolate, actually. Oh, the bear is trying to, like, think of hey. the pendant. He, he, Adrian hey. pockets it. Oh, whoa, 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 Stay on task, everyone! Adrian, five seconds later, he's like, then he thinks of money. <laughs> Adrian, no, the bear is trying to look at you eagerly, and he puts the... Hand in and tries to pull out the honey. Pendant. What kind of food? Pendant. <laughs> There's a lot of food in there. <laughs> um, um, he, okay, he thinks of like, hey, like hey, hey, biscuits hey. or something that he can throw away. Raw meat. Yeah, rations come. Like right, little, little right. rolled biscuits. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a bag <laughs> of holding. Hey, 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 hey. hey <laughs> the bear's just growling and just and like. He closes it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's way too much. Oh, I have an idea. Now get talking. Where did you sell the pendant? There's this lady, uh, very uh, rich looking. I targeted her because she looked like she had a lot of coin. She was looking for a present for her daughter for her birthday. So I sold her the necklace. Okay, where? where? Uh, on the marketplace where I peddle. Mm. I just put my my jacket down on names, the Names, locations. I don't know names. I gave you the location. Wait, we're not just going to let him go, are we? Let's bring him to Amalda. Can I check if he's telling the truth? You certainly can. Insight check. Oh, Oh, can I also do that? Sure, if you want to. I got a 13. Sniff a lie. (laughs) Sniff, yes. 13. 13. Not much. Not 20. Right, hold on. So, with you, um, you... (coughs) You think he... Like, he's telling the truth, but in in a manner. There's something he's holding on to. He might be telling you something that is true, <coughs> but he might also be withholding. He's not lying, but he might be withholding something. You on the other hand, get your phone out. <laughs> I will message you. I think. <gasps> yeah! DM. Yes. Going down in the DM. The I'm DM going to do DMing. it online. I think. The DM DM. The bear looks at the bag, and then kind of like points to neck as if necklace. It was. He wasn't able to pull it out. Oh. Oh. So. It is up to you memory. whether you want to share the information that you've just learned or, you know. Hugo's, are you going to go? <laughs> Jack's going to, as he's talking to him, he's like, look, I'm going to put it this way. Okay. I don't trust you. I know that you're going to try to lie to us and trick us. I'll just put it simple. We want the pendant. We've been hired to take the pendant. This job doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. 
I'm. We're gonna hold onto this bag of your stuff. If you want this back, Jeez. you can find us. I'm gonna go try to find that pendant. If I don't find it, I've got your stuff. If I find it, maybe I'll feel generous and we'll give it back. You're just gonna leave me tied up here? No. Yeah, we don't really care. Wait, I have no first. Part of first. the reward. No, it's good. I like yeah, doing. we can do that. <laughs> the bear uh, kind of just like lifts him up <laughs> and then points to like the docks. Are you like lifting him up by the, the scruff of his Yeah, he's like, like tied up. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Hello. Put still him holding. Down. I'm still holding him. Well, hold on. Why did you steal the necklace to begin with? I'm over here. Why did you steal? <laughs> 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 because, because it looked like it was sellable. Huh. Why do I steal anything? It's to sell, right? Well, that is Could also be a do, condition. Do I, I believe have. him? You can do an insight check. You add your wisdom to that. <gasps> That's a. Nine, that's a six. nine. That's a, that's six. a six. Sorry, that's a six. six. That's I a smell something funny about that. <laughs> six plus your wisdom. Plus one. So that's a seven, girl. Yeah, you believe him. You believe him. You believe him. Mm-hmm. You can, you can, uh, can I also can I cross? Examine. You can cross examine. Yeah. I'll cross examine. Bear is just still holding him. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of like swinging <laughs> slightly, just like his mm. tail is swishing From beneath him. His tail comes out into like a two prong fork. Ooh. So like whereas Sam's was a di- was a triangle shape like a, a fork a insight? devil fork tail insight, insight. Yeah, insight. his okay. comes up into a two prong and it's just swishing below him. Thirteen plus six. Oh. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, you don't trust the fucking thing he says. Oh. <laughs> no. He's with it's it's not that he's lying. It's that he's withholding information, mm. which is worse sometimes. Mm. Yeah. He's just like swinging. Uh, there. She, uh, she was whispers over him. Hey, hey, hey. I think holding back information. It's like kinda like looks up at looks back at the bear and is like, hey, hey, hey. So, um I'll help. But uh I need my stuff back. Don't listen to him. Aiden, do you have any poison on you? Yeah no, if we give you that bag back, all right, you're he, gonna he, go he, away. he opens the bag of holding and he thinks poison. <laughs> po- think poison about- appears, yeah. Poison. All right. Poison appears. Well, a little there... vial of poison that you pour on arrowheads and stuff appears. Okay. Well, is there like a, a thing to treat that with in there? Right, what? He, he thinks an- antivenom. Or... Yeah, uh, here. Antivenom. Up, it, up it comes. Ah, perfect. Uh, this is. Mm, but then he looks kind of sad because he's not Rex, and Rex is an, an asshole. But Kyoga has some kinds about him. And he's like. Mm, well, but you're you're a rogue, right? I have poisoner. Like, do me, proficiency. yeah. Do me uh, a straight intelligence check, and you can say what you're going to say. <laughs> He's dumb. Oops. <laughs> so, well, wait, wait, wait. Um, intelligence check. What about wisdom? Is your wisdom higher? They're both zero. Cool. Never mind. Do you, either I'm, one of them. They're both plus zero. All right. Then so just do a straight. Just do twenty. A straight twenty. Well, no, because. You're proficient in like poisons and things, right? Yeah. Should have a yeah. Add plus three. Add plus your proficiency three. to it. Oh, okay. Three, four. <laughs> I mean, ah, <sighs> yeah. As far as you're concerned, these things are legit. <laughs> so, so Hyo goes. Well, you know, I was thinking in my head, maybe if we poisoned them, and they'd be like, well, now I have the antidote, so you have to do what I say. But that's not really the bearish nice. kind of does a mild growl, uh, mm-hmm. growl, and then kind of points to the docks. It's like Lassie's trying to tell me something. I don't know what's going on. And what? Um, well, I'm just confused. Why are we not taking the bear is telling back? you like we're supposed to bring this guy alive to Imaldo? Oh, Let's yeah. Do it. Good idea. Oh, no. no, you don't hear this. What's she that, Lassie? Oh, only, only. Mar, Timmy strapped down the old well. <laughs> we need to, we need to bring him back to Imaldo alive because that's part of the bonus for the reward. Is that true, Lassie? <laughs> <laughs> bear wants to now scratch his belly. You annoying thing. He's kind of like kicking his legs now oh, at this point. So uh, I translate for the bear. Let's see. What's that, um, Lassie? <laughs> are you doing that in character? Because that doesn't sound no, like you. Not in character. That's good. I'm, I'm going to smack you later. <laughs> well, we need to take him up back to the docks to Analda. Oh, for the. Why are we no, waiting around? No, 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 no. And the bear is nodding. Good idea. And why? And the bear is just nodding. No, 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 no. Okay, and you okay, can okay. sort of see like the grin with all the teeth. Like. All right, all right, okay, 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 okay. See, I'll like, help you. I'm, I'm not incapable of mercy. I'll help we, you. We were just hired to get this amulet. 
It doesn't need to be complicated for you, but you make it complicated for us. It gets complicated. We All right, can't okay. get the amulet. We give you her and give okay. her you instead. All right, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, don't. Yeah, I'll I'll help. I'll help. Put me down. Yeah, but what if you do that fire thing again, like you did to those big jerks? Well, All right. I, what if I do that fire thing to those big jerks and not to you? But what if you do that to us? Is what I'm saying. Well, I won't. You got my stuff. Put me down. Don't let him go. Just put his feet down. Mm. Put him on a leash. So, uh, yeah. I really some, think uh, we should just like we got go some poisons here. back to go to the docks. I think well, so, too. Let's wait. not listen to a thing he says. Yeah. Okay. We've got um, our job. He's not going to mm. talk. We might as well just it, take him to if, Alda and get our money. If I look That's at right. him when he says, like, uh, I'll help, put me down. Yeah. Could I check it to see if he's sincere about that? Yeah, inside check. Inside. Inside again! For... Oh. You got nap. No, you have one. No, no, it's ten. Plus Four plus six. Ten. As far as you're concerned, he's being sincere, but you're not sure. You're, you're kind of on it. You, you're like, you're on the fence with him. Mm. When he says it, he says it like, all right, put me down. Okay, well, you've got, uh, what time of day is it now? Just afternoon. About maybe a ha- mid, mid-afternoon. Mid okay. How about we say you've got until uh, nightfall to bring us to this lady? We don't find her, you go to Amalda. Yeah. I think that oh. sounds fair. And I got a good smell on it. And so. I'm not giving your stuff back and you're not leaving our site. The bear is just holding him. Oh. He's like still swinging, kind of. And I'm thinking of Thor. Yeah. Like, Thor. Inter- 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 exactly. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> so it's like, fine. If you don't cooperate. You're going to Malda right away. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Don't do that. Don't do that. I will definitely lose my head. All right. Okay. I'll help. So. Where are we going? I don't know who the lady is, but I do remember she had on a cloak, and on the cloak she had a brooch with a nightingale on it. Okay. Maybe you can ask around and see if you know anybody like. Well, you're coming with us, so let's go. Okay. Am I not walking? All right. The bear's I just think... smiling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only have like three hours in this form, so. Well, we, we also have to keep in mind that everybody knows who yeah, this I think guy we should, is. We yeah, might, we might lash into you. That's fine. I just <laughs> want to let you know I have three hours Wait, in this form. Wait, he's got so. a good point. Maybe somebody else is looking for him. If we just have him wrapped up, somebody might try to beat us up and try to take him. And we're going Not to the marketplace, to the which is like full of people. But mm. uh, it's gonna be fun. The bears just walking around town, mm. just like put the dude on his back. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. little, little two-leg bear room. waddle. <laughs> 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 if only I had. I have more room. I can disguise. Your back. Disguise self. All right, so. So with oh, his yeah, this tight yeah. knots, mm-hmm. is he looking back. into the bear or up at the sky? I think. I think is it back to back or is yeah, it front to back? I think. What back, do you think? Are they spooning back. or is it back to back? I think they're spooning, but what do you think? He's a back. Bear just shrugs. <laughs> can yeah, I? She, can, she cannot talk. Can I not get a mouthful of bear fur, please? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's oh, spooning. it smells! It's spooning. <laughs> well, I can't see shit. Well, he, he, he can, like, that is put his head up. It's a bear! If we need him to see, he's not going to be able to see. Alright, back, back to back. Back to back. Put a cloak on him so he's... Oh, uh, look, that cloak looks like a Plus, dick! he has the iconic, uh... Phoenix, Phoenix thing on the back. back. All right, on his back, so back we don't want back. that showing everywhere. Mm-hmm. Alright, so he shifts it back to back, and they're tied up. On the bear's back. I mean, everybody's still gonna know who I am. I'm pretty distinctive. Hey, that one looks like a sheep. <sighs> hey! Uh, the bear looks at you and asks, mm-hmm. anything we can do to cover his face? Oh, but then I definitely won't see. You don't understand this. She does. <laughs> only, only I do. It's almost like a sentient um, voice was speaking um, to me just now. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do we have anything to... Cover him up or something? My cloak? Mm, I do have a cloak as well. I think that's better than nothing. Okay! Ah! Tie it under his chin, I guess. So and, and, uh, can't, breathe, can't breathe, can't breathe, can't breathe, can't breathe, just, can't breathe, can't breathe. Just the head. Just the head. He looks like a teratero pose. Teratero pose! His tail is swishing. Yeah, he looks. He's 
Uh, because um, Lilith has a red cloak. Because she's kind of little red riding hood ish. Oh, cute. Him. Um, oh, and the wolf. Well, yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, that is a door pair. So, <laughs> so he's all red. Yeah, so. And then there's all red. red. And then there's one of the bears from Goldilocks. This works out great. Oh, Yay! my God. <laughs> he starts, um, as you guys, have you guys started moving? We're, no, no, we're, we, we're just about to. Yeah, yes. cool. So, as you like shift your shoulders to move onto like all fours. Now, that's not inconspicuous. A bear walking Yeah, around. right. <laughs> With a bright red you can, coat. You can hear his back I mean, cracking as the hunches <laughs> come. <laughs> That thank you. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> the bear just kind of just like mm. he starts uh, singing a, a jig beneath <laughs> his cowl, his face bag thing. Mm -hmm. Um, wait, no, his face is like. No, wait, I thought I thought we exposed. Oh, you exposed his face. Yeah, so she's like a tenter yeah. like the little like, like a circle little with that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah, cool. I thought you meant like you had it over his head. Oh, oh my God! That's what I call it. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's so funny. No, but so, his, his tail is like swinging out. So yeah, his tail is swinging out. His horns are up, which is another thing. You would have got like his horns That's like a good point. on your yeah. back if you had him uh, face got down. It, got it. Yeah, Definitely. yeah, right. Okay. But his head—you can feel his head kind of like swaying back and forth as he's singing his little jig as you guys are walking. So what do you do? The bear. None of your business. <laughs> that was God no, asking. No, no, that was God. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely thought, my business. I thought he was making conversation. <laughs> no, I've got an accent, sweetheart. That's how you. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Even though, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello there, I'm a little bit Irish. In the front of the mouth. There we go, all right, I'm back. Hello, hello. This is where it's supposed to be, but it keeps kind of going back here a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's fine, it's fine. He's a congregation of three accents. Okay. <laughs> all right. Marriage. The so bear kind of looks around and goes like, it has this question. We look. head off to the market Marketplace. first in order to get, right? yeah. Hmm. It's worth more market. reward if we bring him in. We can make more. Yeah, that's first. That's a good idea. <laughs> a lot of people are like looking. Because not only is there a bear walking <laughs> through the marketplace, there's a singing tied up body on the back. And this giant <laughs> dude. Yeah, this giant top dude. Hat. The, the, the bear kind of nudges at the bard and like kind of points to the drum. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, give us a beat. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. Delta. Cool. We look like a parade. So the bear's just like walking and trying to like follow the beat of the drum ish. And on that branch there was a twig, a trick, a twig, trick, a trick on the branch and the branch on the tree. He'll just swing his arms in the rhythm. In the valley, oh. Trying to look like a weird band here with a bear. Hey, we're just a bar party. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Roll crits. Oh, <laughs> no. And there's this weird emo. <laughs> As you get closer towards the marketplace, the the atmosphere changes. It's more. It's almost like a festival. But the marketplace is always a lively place. It's not actually a festival going on. It's just that kind of hustle and bustle. How are the people reacting that there is like... They're giving you um, a wide berth. <laughs> They're like <laughs> clearing, clearing to lay away. You, you hear a couple of voices just kind of being like, is it a traveling circus or something? <laughs> it might be actually. Oh, I wonder if they're playing here. As you guys pass through. They don't seem to be too phased. Again, it's like Osaka. It's 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 strange, but it's like an interesting kind of strange. They're wondering if you're traveling through to like actually perform here, or if you're selling something, or maybe they should like not fuss you because you've got a tied up guy on the back of a bear. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when you get actually into the marketplace, um, what do you do? The bear is oh shit. The bear is trying to search for any. Lady with a cloak with a nightingale. I think I'm trying to see if he has advantage on perception checks, which I think he does as a bear. Um, if could I perceive in, if it's involving Inside? smell? Yeah. Oh, never mind then. But you could, yeah. you could, you could I just say you're I trying to perceive. smell her, but you don't know what she smells yeah, like. No, I'm just trying to look for. Perception. You guys can just do a general perception check. Yeah, I will right, do a I general will. perception check of the area of the marketplace. Oh, no, oh. the market. I love a market. Everybody generally perceives. 
leave. Everybody just This is a market place. That's my favorite. This this is that one. one. 19 plus, sorry, 19 plus. So that's like, no, shit, but nine. 20, 28, 28, yeah. 28? Wow. Yeah. Six. Oops, sorry. You uh, see that 14. this is actually a D&D game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> You're in a room with people pretending to be the people you think you know. Wow, I am meta person. 21! <laughs> Galaxy Nine. Brain Bear. Nine! Nice! <laughs> 14! Good job. Oh, sorry, 10. So yeah, what does the really, really, really great perceptive bear see? <laughs> You notice that there is no one here with a nightingale on their cloak. Absolutely not. And then even if I go around and look deeper, nothing? Nothing. She's not here. Like, she's either somewhere else in the city, but she's not in the market. The bear looks at Lumi and is like, Is there anything that happened to me? I don't see it. So we're looking, everyone looked for the nightingale girl and there's no looks. She's not there. And uh, the, fe- the phoenix is still singing a wee jig away on the back of the bear. Okay. So let me like talks to, oh uh, like, reaches up. Pat pat. Ah, oh, hello. Uh, we don't see anyone who looks like that lady useful dependent the the dependent to. Well, she doesn't live here. I mean, she's obviously well, going to leave. If you take me over to like, he kind of like tries to point like a mm-hmm. Filipino mum. Okay. <laughs> 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 I like that you know that. <laughs> I had a Filipino friend in Vegas. Okay. Uh, if you take me over to, to there, that's where I was peddling. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Let's. So she, she pats the bear again. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean I can understand you in common. It's oh yeah, I yeah. Can't mm-hmm. Speak to you. And... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, right. Let's let's go over there. So I just basically he's he's kind of like looking down over the bear. I kind of just put my stuff down on the ground there, and she came up and she went past here. So you, you never know. You could probably ask around. Maybe ask a guard or someone. Maybe people know who she was. I mean, I, I don't really bother myself with the nobles and things in this. Uh, oh, in this so she city. was a noble? She looked like she had money. It's a fair bit. All right. I well, only I only ever target hmm. people who who look like they have coin. Well, very well. Jack's been through the town for a bit. Is it possible that he recognizes this description of the pin matching with any of the noble house crests? You can do a history history check, lore. Yeah. Okay. I always go to say lore. You know, lore. Check. Ooh, nice suit. That's an 18. Yeah, you've heard of it in passing. There's a family who... They have a reputation about them, so people talk about them a lot. I know even more. Even more. (laughs) (laughs) So basically, um, there's a family that have come into the, the city not overly long ago. But the, the, the con- controversy about them is that the guy that came in isn't just a tiefling, like he is a devil. Mm. Mm-hmm. But he's made a kind of like name for himself. He's a trader. He goes by the name Mercier. And he's built himself up enough to buy himself a house in the, the nicer part of the city. His wife, who is human, she is known throughout like the courts and stuff. She's not like, there's like a, an in-between between the plebeians and like the actual um, royalty. Mm-hmm. And then they've got like the nobles in between. She goes through like the noble mm-hmm. courts and stuff. She's like um, a really respected lady. They mm-hmm. have a tiefling daughter mm-hmm. who goes by the name Nightingale. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, of course, only he knows this. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Mm-hmm. So I've just been kind of listening to him, letting letting him talk, so I can that thing where you already know the answer to the question, but you ask it, it together, yeah, so yeah. you can see mm-hmm. when they're telling you the truth and not. Uh, Lumi's <clears throat> about to like go and um. So I'll say and talk, and talk to guards, but they want to stop her or anything. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, it's okay. Let's pause here for a second, everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wanted to see if we could. It would have been ideal if we could have bumped into them in the marketplace, but, mm. uh... 
do you know who you sold that amulet to? I talked to, uh... Phoenix? Uh, Phoenix. Do I know who I sold it to? Yes. Yes? Do you know who you sold it to? I sold it... No. Like, do you know who they are? No. Or did you just sell it to them? I just sold it to them. I don't care. Money is money. She seemed like she had money. How much did you sell it for? A lot. Okay. <laughs> Was it really that like much, though? I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy it. <coughs> this is sounding like it might be more trouble than it's worth. Oh well. Duh, duh. End I guess of the we'll day. We'll have to collect on the bounty on you. Wait, what? <laughs> That's a fair bit. So, he sold it to a local noble. Pretty powerful. Oh, really? The kind of people we don't want to uh, burst down their doors looking for an amulet. The kind Oops. of people who aren't really gonna let us in. Okay. Hmm. And if they knew that they were sold a worthless necklace for a huge amount of money, we I don't might know not what kind of promises be able made about to it. bring him back to Amalda and get our reward. Mm -hmm. They might just kill him. Yeah, hey, let's 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 <laughs> let's not kill the two. See, it's such I'm, a do, I'm doing my point. best to make sure this is an outcome where you're safe, but you're forcing our hands. All right, okay, 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 okay. There, there were some people that came by that were interested in in the item, but they didn't want to pay as much CD pirates and stuff people that don't have any coin so I told them it wasn't for sale but then she came along and I kind of like peddled it like it was something magical when I don't know if it even is magic I don't know shit what but did you tell her it does I told her that it was uh, 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 I told her that it came from like a fairy land and it was once a fairy ship and that's why it's so small and <laughs> and and she said that, that her 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 daughter was interested in in the fae and, and stuff like that so I, I really <coughs> really peddled it when she said that um, but yeah she she said that she she wanted it for a birthday present for her daughter so that's why she bought it so here are the options we have now. Pull off a heist with some local nobles to get this amulet back. Or... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if the daughter is interested in Faye... Bear. Perception check. Well, maybe if the Faye... I can speak Faye. Maybe we can talk to her and I can be like, Well, I'm a fairy person! And maybe... We can get it back. 20 for 23. You're getting a really uncomfortable, almost burning sensation on your back. The bear is kind of like... <coughs> hey, stop this bear jiggling. What the... <coughs> um, Jacker goes over to... The bottom to... of the zone. Oh, oh no. What? Um, Jack goes over uh, to it. It's like, no more funny business. Me. And Burning punches him in the face. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Roll to Roll to attack. Strength? No, just attack. As if you're uh, attacking. I probably missed. That's a, uh. 15. Ooh. I have so many guys in here. 15? That's what mm -hmm. she said. Oh, minus, no. four. <laughs> minus 14, please. <laughs> what is your armor class as a bear? Um, I think for the cave bear it's 12. Bear armor class. You miss the teeth and then you punch the bear. Oh! <laughs> the bear kind of looks at you. And as as you... Yeah, roll for damage. Yeah. Yeah. So like as you punch the bear, you, like I imagine the bear would like recoil slightly. Seven damage. You take Oof. seven points of damage and... Okay. Oh no! The, the tiefling disappears. He's burned through the ropes, yeah. and his feet land on the floor, and he's just like, "Oh, that's so much better." Oh. Adrian tries to get the jump on him. You can try. Okay. He's gonna try and dodge you. What do I roll for? 
you uh, roll, I would guess, dick? Are you trying to grapple him, or are you just trying just to, grab like, him, just like, grab him dicks? That okay. would probably be a dex, yes. <laughs> as, as a rogue, just dicks. you're probably going to beat me. Okay. Just straight dicks. 42 minus 7. 23. Yeah, you grab him. So, like, <laughs> you just, are you just going to, like, are you trying to grab him in a specific way? Maybe, maybe, like, grab him to, to make sure he can't move, like, from the back. Maybe, like, put a knife against his throat. Whoa! So, like, as the dagger comes up from behind him, and just, he feels the tip, just the tip. <laughs> just the just tip. The tip. On, the tip. On his throat. And he's, he's still wringing his hands from, like, the rope burns that you can see, kind of, like, the marks on his mm-hmm. wrist. He's just kind of, like... Cool. All right. Well, I haven't ran yet, so I mean, you can, you can, you can. You don't need this. This is fine. The bear kind of just looks looks down at him and has like the claws ready. Uh, <laughs> and kind of uh, points to like the back where there's like slight singe. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I didn't think you were gonna let me. Uh, mm. It was really uncomfortable. Jack kind of pushes you guys out of the way and just like. <clears throat> You can see he's like, I told me we should have done it my way! No, I just wanted to... He's just like looking at him like, No, we're gonna do this the good way. No, he's gonna betray us! And he takes his maul and just like... I'm gonna check. Adrian's kind of like... The the tiefling in front of you is kind of like, Is he okay? (laughs) Yeah, he's also like... And you see, he's, he's kind of doing that golem thing where he looks one way, he's talking to that person, yeah, and he looks the other way. And he's talking. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna. No, he's betraying us. <laughs> and uh, I decided I uh, ended up s- smashing the so my cane instead of now a cane. You can see he's kind of hoisted up on it, and the tip of the cane is like effectively a maul. <laughs> And I've just slammed it down next to him. Like the pavement crack. He almost jumps up back onto you. Just going like, oh. <laughs> saucer eyes. The bear guy just like he kind of guards his throat from the blade. Though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just all right. Okay. Okay. And okay. then Jack just kind of like walks away. <laughs> Is that normal? Uh, we just only met him. We just met him today. Yeah. Bear just He's shrugs. Still here. Yeah, he's still got the knife. All right. Well, this is, well, I'm going to walk like this the entire way because I don't know. My if the wind changes, I'm stuck like this. All right. He he um he takes the knife off. He still got a hold on him, one armed, and then he like cuts off some of his own rope to retie his hands. Oh his back. come on! Really? I just got the bear. Kind of pats his head. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Try it. So he's so the Adrian's got like a, a hold on like the ropes on his wrists. <sighs> this isn't well, the kind of kink well, I was looking for. Well, if you weren't if you weren't so much of a thief, we probably wouldn't be like this with you. So, about the uh, uh, nightingale lady. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Nice try. You're not there. I'm, right? I'm gonna say Jack is like off to the side, kind of cool and down. Yeah, There's a. Uh, you guys hear a commotion off to one side. Mm-hmm. There's an awful lot of. Hey! D- watch it! Hey! Hey! And as you look I'm over. I'm walking here! I'm, w- I'm, I'm walking, walking here! here. I'm hey, Jack! Wanna buy a sundial? <laughs> <laughs> you notice those three big burly guys coming back over. Oh, no. oh. And as they approach you, they just kind of like. You! And they point to the T and it's like, hand over the T and no one gets hurt. The bear just goes like. <laughs> One of them is cracking their knuckles. I think I've fought bears before. And the other guy is uh, bringing out a weapon, and I want everybody to roll initiative. Ah, yeah. shit! <laughs> Woo! 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 Kind of, there's uh, gasps, and people can like back away, like they've Woo! seen fights before. About yeah, to break out. What's that? For the cave bear. There's like, like, plus dex no? too, right? It, Just can you keep it on be, hand? Could I attempt to calm it? Like, <laughs> attempt to be like... On your turn, don't yeah, worry. Okay. Oh. Steven! 
Well, um, so Ivani! Here. Right, okay, it doesn't matter because, like, he's not that high up in the initiative anyway, so. I'm like last in initiative, so I'm just gonna take a nap. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I think I might wanna change the spells up a bit. But so, are you guys yeah. are you guys all content with where you all are? You are gonna have to, like, move yourself oh. as you move. I just wanted move. to ask if Phoenix is. Wait, Phoenix is. Phoenix is uh, well, I guess he's not. No, he's not, because you're holding his. He's standing. standing mm -hmm. He's standing, but he's got his hands tied behind his back, mm -hmm. and Adrian is holding on to like the ropes. So yeah. like it's kind of like this. Yeah. Okay. Black is Adrian, right? Yeah, and red oh. is Finn. The bear is probably close to the person who kind of singed his fur. <coughs> her fur. Yeah. So, she's yeah, so I'm kind of like between like between Finn and. The, and, um, just so you all know. Just so you all know, we got, it's like it. Street Fighter. We got a crowd yep. and the audience. <laughs> yeah. They've all gathered. You, you okay. can fight, 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 yeah. fight, fight. You can kind of tell that fights go down a lot and it's free entertainment, so everybody's mm -hmm. down. So, you guys have heard a commotion off to the off to the side. You turn around and you see the three... Ah, that's when I do it. Sorry, you see the three... If you want it. Okay. Okay. Yep. From the tavern, they've caught up with you, they've found you, and they want Phoenix. So, top of the order. Here? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Actually, is that purple guy? <gasps> oh no! Wait, who's the purple guy? That, the, purple, the purple triangle. Uh -huh. The purple guy. It's like a half orc, was it? No, they're all, they're all kind of human. But they're very, they're very big. big and burly. This Imagine that one in the perp in the purple <laughs> one in a purple vest. <laughs> this guy down here, he reaches behind him, and from his back he unhooks a battle axe. Shit. And he says to all of you, he says, hand over the tiefling, and no one gets hurt. And then he kind of screams to the sky and targets you. Uh -oh. Can I, no. can Hyoga do something? Nope. Anything? Shit. No, you wait, can wait. do something think, on your turn. I think turn. I do have a reaction. He hasn't attacked you yet. He's just aiming for you. Yeah. He's going to take, he's given you guys the option to hand over the tiefling. So he's going to walk forward two spaces. Mm-hmm. Is there, is... Well, diagonal forward. Diagonally. One, two. There. And That's he's going to ready his battle ready. axe. And like I say, he screams at the sky, mm -hmm. ready to attack. Shit. And we're we're in initiative now. Right? We're in initiative. Who is the pink? Me. Oh, good job. Fuck. And you're next. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So he's ready. His action to. Uh. I like how the squishy one no. is in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and just like, wait. Well, you're cleric. Okay, never mind. Go on. You're, you're cleric. It's fine. Uh, you're not me. Oh, we're not. We're not letting. Me, we're not letting him go, are we? Uh, yeah, you, you're gonna have to attack. Yeah. I think we can let him go. No, no, no. I am, I am going to... Uh, I should read on that while I'm... No. What's Hold the save it. against being frightened? Frightened... Is that wisdom? That is a wisdom saving throw. Give me a wisdom saving throw. You might have special proficiency on that as a cleric. Wait. Yeah, you should do. Let me yeah. find frightened. Um, I have it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I just know what it is. I sorry, just don't sorry. know what the saving throw. So give me a wisdom okay. saving throw. Yeah. Come on. Fifteen plus three. Fifteen. Yeah, you're not frightened by this guy. <sighs> okay. He's very I intimidating. He's very intimidating, but I'm keeping my. I keep my. Wits. You steal yourself. Yeah, like, you're okay. <laughs> so who yelled? One of the feathers? The purple guy. The purple guy. Yeah. And okay, what I'm gonna do? I hope you. I that. am going to. I hope. You um. Heard that. Jack heard the snore. Cast Misty Step. So that was a... Woo! Pew! So you I'm can teleport pew. yourself 30 <clears throat> feet from a, uh, in a position you can see. Mm -hmm. 30 yeah. feet away. A square is 5 feet. Yes. Yeah. correct. Please be very careful with that. The yeah. cup. Uh, you can give it to me Wait. if you want. Yeah. Wait, okay. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, each square is 5 feet. That's yes. correct. Uh -huh. You move six, six, 6 squares. Yes. Into an empty space you can see. Okay. Wait. In any direction? Any direction. direction. Just as long as you can see it. Mm-hmm. I go diagonally. Of course you can. You can go anywhere that's within. Within. Far away. You can also walk if you want to. You haven't used your walk action. Yeah, I haven't. You don't have to. Just yeah. Walk. But you guys, uh, where? 
Lulu once was, there's now a puff of mist. Uh, but also and now because, she's <clears throat> because I have used, I have I have cast a spell. Can I uh, roll to see if wild wild magic comes on? You certainly can. Here we go. Ta-da. What's the thing for wild magic? I've never if, done if it before. If it's one. One or a 20. That's right. 20. That's right. That's right. And cool. the rule and that not. I play with two that we use in the campaign is if she uses her Tides of Chaos, mm-hmm. then the next time and she like casts every, a spell. It has to. Yeah, that's It cool. has to happen. That's cool. I, yeah. I have some familiarity with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. so if it's a 20 or a 1. Oh, and okay. Yeah, that's right. I was in lesbians with you. That's right. I don't... <laughs> I don't I was know in lesbians with you. I don't know if we, I don't know if we have to attack them. You don't have to. No, it's up to you. No, I'm like I'm not sure. You'll do what your character would do. Yeah, your character would do. That seems like you're in character so far. So yeah. Yeah, I'm like um, would you run? she would isn't. You she isn't sure if if we want to if we want to like beat them up or whatever. So she will keep her distance. Okay. Yeah, and. She's going to move uh, another ten feet away. <laughs> Nailed it. Proper cool. All right. So uh, wonderful. So you guys watch as Lulu is standing in front of you, and poof, suddenly there's a puff of misty smoke, and she's gone. You guys glance around, and you see her standing over a fair distance away, just like, <laughs> like looking at you, like, should I? Should I not? Should I stay or should I? Ben! Ben, you're up. Ben. Ben. Should I stay or should I go? Okay. Like, bend <clears throat> over. <laughs> um, so, this, I mean, how I've been playing Ben up to this point has been very low energy, and I apologize for that. No, so please, please. please. You might, ha- there might be a little bit of a change in how Ben has been acting. Yeah. Is how Ben should be, Yay. not Hi. how I was playing him. Um, so... Ben is going to try and defuse the situation. Hey. <laughs> First. Do it. So Charming. I'm going to kind of, like, I'm moving, like, I'm, no, that's not me. I'm me. Oh, I'm back here. You're like, move. how does, so, like, I'm going to kind of move. Can I do that? Is that okay? Can I move between them? Yeah, you can shuffle between them. Okay, I'm going to shuffle They're your allies, so they'll let you by. And I'm going to be like, I'll be like, now maybe... We can talk about this. Oh, <laughs> uh, if you just put your axe down, we're not, you know, necessarily not going to give him up to you, but we would like to hear why it is you're after him. Maybe there's some mutual thing we can work out. Persuasion check. Okay, that's nice helping. Use your, Use your charm. Use my charm. Use your charm. Use your charm. Charming southern gentleman. I swear. I swear. <laughs> Uh, persuasion. Okay. Da, 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 you have proficiency. Seven. Plus, plus. You're charming, right? You're a bard. Yeah, so then that'd be six, right? Yeah. Plus yes, six. So th- you have proficiency Thirteen. on it? Yes. Yeah. So plus three. No, that, that is. No, that's that's right. Oh, that's right. You win the plus six. Okay. Yeah. Thirteen. So seven plus six is 13, yeah. I think if you hadn't said we're probably not going to give you one, <laughs> it would have helped. No! He's kind of wavering a little bit, but he doesn't seem to be backing down. Ooh boy. Mm. Well, I also in character, I do not think that, like, I don't want to escalate the situation, especially in a crowd of people to draw more attention to us. Yep. So... You can hold an action if you want. And- <laughs> what is holding an action? So you like, can ready an action yeah. and then tell me what will trigger you to attack. And when that trigger happens, you like attack. If, but if you ready a spell mm-hmm. and the trigger doesn't go off this round, you lose that spell slot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oof. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Who is by me? Who is... In front of... Uh, behind you behind is... Um, Phoenix. Fen- no, a Phoenix, Phoenix is as red. As well as Adrian. As well as Adrian. And, and the, then by you The white is, one is... Um, Hugh. Hugh. That's Huga. 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 Holy shit, I went through every name in the family before I got your <laughs> son. <laughs> so like am I able to if I if I'm gonna inspire someone I, do they have to understand me? Mm. No, it's an ability you can It's an them. ability, right? So yeah. I'm going to kind of like 
Everybody there understands you, though. Yeah, right? So I'm going to be like... Um... Doshio. No, I don't think he'd do that. He's just gonna, he's just gonna kind of like, s- like step back. Like, you want to move back? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, move back, and I'm gonna stand by the bear. The, the bear is the bear. Same same one. Oh, okay. Come over. I'll just the bear step that seems safe. <laughs> stand by the bear and seems safe. <laughs> the bear is like, oh. all right. So, Jack, from across the way. So are these all humanoids? Yes. Like a uh, human. Yeah. So he did a, he yelled, it was, did it have some kind of psychological or magical attribute to it? Or is it just like a loud yell? Uh, it's like he's... I guess just tell me whatever information I can Sorry. infer from my distance. It looks like he's pepping himself up. Okay. It's magic. Magically up here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Jack, uh... Jack, we know Jack, quick. Jack <clears throat> turns around and uh, Jack about to Jack sees some pe- sees a guy with an axe <laughs> and uh, sees the situation and just like uh, he just let yet yeah, lets out this just enormous roar and just like <clears throat> enough and just roar enough five ten fifteen twenty enough. <laughs> Like Are you raging? Charges over. Yeah, he's raging. Oh, oh uh, This uh, somewhere is like, yeah, you rage. Rex is like, yeah. Rex. Fuck him up. <clears throat> Do you have this? Does Jack have rage music as well? Uh, a rage theme, if you will. It's a good idea. I didn't think about that far. Him. But he just yells out him. and runs over, just like, enough the easy way, and he's killing. Oh, and not bad. Uh, it looks like he hits him. That's a what seventeen you- plus seven, twenty-four. Yeah, but it's gonna hit. <laughs> That's kinda, yeah. But you have advantage. Where so you, you can roll to see if you get that nat 20. Oh, do I? You do. So it's from the side, so I guess well done right. with the double 17. 17 again. Hello, Zach Efron. <laughs> get out, Zach Efron. You're not welcome here. And, uh, he's, I was there for Chandler being He's swinging right his uh, right mall cane. Mall cane? Mall cane! Mall cane Now off the stage. Okay. <laughs> is eight damage. Uh, You've got four rages. Four rages. Rage damage is plus two at six. Plus two. So that's eight plus two is ten, ten plus my strength <laughs> is plus four, fourteen damage. Do I add my proficiency on this on this hit damage? I forget. Okay. Just your modifier. So, so how much total? Fourteen damage total. 14 damage, like a boss. Uh, he is looking <laughs> pissed. And then I do uh, 14, does that hit? 14, are you hitting him again? Yep. It does it? <clears throat> so, is this an extra attack? This is, uh, yeah, fifth level, two attacks per level. Oh, Barbarian, man. Oops. Barbarian. Oh, he's a barbarian. That is a 10 he's a plus barbarian. Six, 16. So 14 damage, now 16 additional damage. So that's like a total of 30, 30 damage. Oh my god, that is too bad. He did. Good job. He is looking rough. <clears throat> he just comes, he just like, you see him turn and run over, and just BAM! BAM! <laughs> this guy stumbles, and there's like blood flying off of him, he's looking bruised, there's like parts of his skin where like the bludgeoning has been so hard that it's like split open already. Oh! But he kind of just like, and Roars right back at you, but next in line uh, course, is Hyo. Yoga. Yoga. I tried. Oh. Are you good? You're not gonna move around in the night. I'm good. Where I'm at. Y'all would just listen. Oh my God. You have to deal with Hyoga over here. Oh God. Yoga is very like. Have to deal with this. Uh, monk. What do I do? <laughs> monk. Unarmored. <laughs> Patient defense. <laughs> you know what? I think you might actually. <laughs> Pitch him off, but he'll go. Yeah, a furry of blows. A furry of blows. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a furry of blows. Like, <laughs> like, like, flurry, flurry, like, like, flurry. But, 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 but he like, he does not want to do that. He, so instead, he's just gonna. Um, he will. Uh, oh, come back. Bonus. Oh, that's three actions. Okay. No, I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll try this. So this is what I try to do. So he's thinking in his head. Okay, so. 
what the fuck? Jack is a monster. This is craziness. <laughs> Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. So Jack what? just beat someone with a bigger candlestick. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Woo! God. Jack just beat someone with his walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually better. Um, he <laughs> takes this time, he'll go to chins, and he shifts. He's going to shift into a, a will V. And he figures, okay, well, maybe maybe this can end kind of peacefully. You don't got to, like, go into anger. So he shifts and he becomes a, um, a, uh, like a very, like, I'm, now think, this is a very silvery, kind of cloudy, because he's made off of, like, a clouded, like a cloudy leopard. But he becomes a wolf, not a leopard. Oh, and it's and is very, um, silvery, very light gray oh, wolf. Oh, we have a zoo. Yes. <laughs> and bright blue eyes. He's kind of like a... <laughs> like a big like a husky dog mm-hmm. but he he's gonna try to intimidate mr. bruised up there okay. and see if he can make him realize the error of his way so he just goes you just, have, you just have these three <laughs> wild <laughs> animals with <laughs> us <laughs> 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 yeah we well, got two tieflings but I mean I'm gonna sort of blind luck a little roll here hey. oh, 12 plus 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 nothing 12 is it 12 uh, yeah, cool. I also rolled a 12. Great. Uh, plus nothing. So we match you and he's kind of look, it's like a standoff. It's like a stalemate. Like you're kind of like, and he's kind of like staring you down at the same time. You guys aren't kind of like moving. So are you just going to growl at him? Growl and then, well, I have a, oh no, it'll be a third action, right? Switch, intimidation. Is what? It's just transforming a... Oh, oh, well, transforming is actually a free action. Yeah, that's why you're fine. It's All right, action. so, yeah. well, let's for, let's add a bark in there. Maybe a bark will give him a spook. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great, this is an interesting battle so far. I'm very proud of all y'all. Nat 20? 18. Oh! Ooh. Big bork! <laughs> Big bork! Big bork. That'll do it. Um, He's Ooh. looking intimidated, <laughs> but he's now frightened by you. <laughs> <laughs> He's now frightened by you. He's been he's he's kind of taken back by the fact that you weren't a wolf a second ago and now you are, now you're growing at him and he's very un- he's very confused. <laughs> he's very very <laughs> He hasn't drank enough today for this. Yeah. So he is now he is now frightened by you. Yay! Yay. Is there anything else you want to do before you end your cheering? Um lick my own balls. That is- <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm done. He's done. I'm done. <laughs> Next in the in the initiative actually is Phoenix, and he's just going to stand there and he's going to look at you and he's going to be like, you know, I could help if you let me out. No. Look at who? All of us? Or no, no like the Edge Lord. <laughs> I mean, I could be helping. Just saying. No. Right. There's there's three of them and six of us. We can handle it. Cool. Okay. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm always gonna try. Uh, on that turn, as the DM spits all over their notebook, um, the left. I had some of that eggnog, and now I'm just gleeking everywhere. <laughs> this guy's gonna sprint in and try to help his buddy. Oh no! He's gonna come in here, so he's flanking you. <laughs> Oh boy. Flank! Jack is getting flanked. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> and he actually, as he approaches, he unsheaths a scimitar <gasps> and a dagger. So he's a little bit faster and, uh, excuse me, more dexterous than his battle axe companion. And he's going to slash at you first with his scimitar. And it's going to be a 17 to hit. It hits. Uh, that is a... Another psychotic bay. Mm. Six points of damage. Mm-hmm. And I think mm. half. I'm yep, because you're raging. Oh, wow. And then he's going to, awesome. and then mm-hmm. as he follows through with his scimitar, he's just going to keep the momentum going and bring it back down on you again. Mm-hmm. That is an eighteen to hit. And for that one, you take four points of damage, which is halved. 
And then as he brings down the scimitar for the second attack, he's going to come in with the dagger. Mm. I hear a rogue. Oh, like, what is this? There's a lot going on here. That's a dirty 20. Ooh. Ah. Oof. Which is another four, so you have that. Okay. So he goes slash, slash, ch- shank. <laughs> <laughs> It and doesn't really do that much damage. No, it's with, with, with your raging and your halving and this stuff. It just kind of just gets caught in my fur and gives me little scratches, but... <laughs> His friend, the blue guy, sees the whole situation that's going on and he's going to yell over to you guys, like... Uh, this is more hassle than it's worth. Just hand over the tiefling and we'll leave. And he's going to run into Jack as well. Where? This way? Straight, Straight forward. One, two, three, like this? Yep, right there. All right. And he's going to do exactly the same thing. He brings out oh his scimitar no, and his dagger. Jack! Jack, no! Poor old He's Jack. really not taking Jack, that much. <laughs> he's really not taking that much damage, guys. He's fine. I know. I'm, I'm healthy. Oh! 17 to hit? 17 hits. Damn. So They're first... just barely getting my AC is 16. Wow. Uh, five. Oh, half. I'm using my death dice. Oh. Oof. Oh. Uh, this one actually might miss. 14. 14 no. miss. So he, he will like backhand the scimitar on the first move, but then just kind of bring it down at the wrong angle, but then try to compensate with his dagger. Wow, that bounced. <laughs> Thank fuck, because that first one was a net one. Oh. 21 to hit! Oh, and that cool. almost bounced into my egg knock. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! That, that would have been a mess. That's the way I go. Oh! 8 points, so half. 4. Okay. Swoosh! Fuck it! Jab! <laughs> Adrian. Alright, well, none of my cool knew. things work anymore because all the enemies already moved because my <laughs> I'm the lowest freaking roll. Alright, um, I'm going, well, one hand on, on Phoenix. Damn it. With other hand, I take a dagger and I chuck it at purple guy. Next. I'm almost tempted to give you disadvantage of that because your body, you have to keep, hold on, Phoenix. Mm-hmm. So you can either, I'll give you two options. All right. One would be disadvantage on the attack, Mm -hmm. or two would be you're going to contest being able to hold on to Phoenix. Which one would you prefer? Can I, what if, what if I put Phoenix on the ground and put my knee on his bench? (laughs) You'd have to like grab, it it would take your turn to get him on the ground. You have to use the effort to do that. Oh. And unless you, you unless you turn willing. to yeah unless you turn to him and be like Mingan on the ground he's like sure then it's you're going it's going to take your turn to get him on the ground and it's going to be contested gosh gotcha um gosh gosh gotcha. gosh gotcha. well gotcha, he's gotcha, got gotcha. two daggers yep so i think um i'll check it with the disadvantage do it so. with a little phoenix wriggling in your other hand all right kicking you off balance what? Whoa. Are you kidding me? Not one. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just he really wiggles like. extra hurt. So, as you throw the dagger, Phoenix has his eye on you and he waits for the exact moment where he just like jars his hands away out of your hand and knocks you off balance so you miss the shot. You now no longer have hold on him. Fuck! No! Oh boy. You have movement. Mm-hmm. You have a bonus action. Yeah. What do you do? Um, can the bonus action be grapple? No. no. Alright. No. Do you want to alert people to the fact he's free or do you want to try to... To... Uh, you can try to like... Maybe you can try and grab him? That's you, you can't. No, you, you can't grapple him. Barbarian. You can maybe try and put like... Alright, I want to try to grab him. Put a, try and put a hand on him. No, 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 because you're not one it. No, I'm not giving you it. No. That was okay. very Scottish. No, I'm not giving you it. Fuck it. Not giving you it. Alright, then he's like... Not giving you it. Yeah, he just says... Um, <laughs> that was very mean. I'm so sorry, guys. No, I was okay. very it Scottish there. Sense. It makes sense. <laughs> I was very Scottish. Shit, somebody get Phoenix. Arr? 
Like that's like the most the most animated we've ever seen. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody get the That is the most Very animated character. he's been so far. Uh, uh, so the the bear will move forward over here. <clears throat> so he's uh, so he kind of just go. He doesn't hold Phoenix Phoenix down, but he kind of goes like this, like as if to say, like I will take care of you. You stay back, as if he's protecting him, but not really. He's just after the money. Um. <laughs> But he doesn't know that. Phoenix I'm talking res- about- I think Phoenix actually respects that. <laughs> <laughs> if he knew. And that gives me flanking, I think. If I push it, if I stay like that, does that give me flanking? Because it's this way? Or should I go this way? You should go that way. This way. Yeah, okay. definitely. Because I have a speed of 40, so that's more than enough. And I have multi attack, so I'm going to attack twice. Because you're a bear. Yeah. You're a bear. I'm a bear. bear. I you're am a bear. bear. It's unbearable. Yo, so was that joke? Oh. Oh. I, I love attack. you. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. It's a two. It doesn't. Matter. It's a nine. So that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna try. Nine. One is that. That is nicht gut. Oh, but I got a nat twenty on. Oh one. shit! Double First, the dice. So that's two d six plus five. Double the dice. So that's a claw attack. Hi hi. On the purple one. Hi. So that's four. 8, 13, plus 5 is, uh, wait, 17, 18 damage. 18. Damn. 18 damage on the purple. Oh. Hey. Jesus. He's looking rough, guys. <laughs> He's still alive. And then so the, and the bear alive. just, like, just <sighs> growls further and looks at the blue one as if, like, a threat, like, you, you want to be next, bud? You want to roll me an intimidation just to see if he's frightened of you? Because he's frightened of the wolf. Oh, so it sure. would make sense that he's frightened of, uh, uh, of a bear. bear. Uh, yeah, I, I am not very intimidating, so... No, you're fine. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> no, he's, he's not intimidated. It, it's just like, you're a bear. I, the wolf is more terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that wolf would even uh, t- touch anybody. He's a bit scarier. That, that work? Good work. I mean, the wolf. I mean, it's a wolf. He just transformed the wolf. Like, they just saw him as a bear. That's normal now. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it's to like, honest. eh. Right, well, that purple guy who you just, uh... Did you attack the, you attacked the purple guy? Yes, I did. Yeah, he feels the claws rake down his back, so he's gonna, like, pff, slam his battle axe up and around at you. Oh, Ouch. boy. Oh, yikes, oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh. Recklessly. <gasps> oh, so he has, he has thing. advantage on it. Then we hit him, we can slap him good. How does an 18 do ya? Uh, it, it will definitely hit him, an animal. <laughs> yeah. I'm 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 like it was here, on the nat 20 and it rolled back. Oh, oh, thank god. god. It's a human! You're a mermaid! <laughs> I don't care! I'm 16 years old! I'm not shy! <laughs> oh, shit! I'm picking up d6s when I need a 12. Uh, hoi 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 plus 3 equal to 13 points of damage. Oh no! Wait. Plus my strength. Sixteen oh, points of damage. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. This is National Geographic over here. <laughs> um. Okay. Could could. Oh maybe. wait. Is it? Is it? No, it's Animal Planet. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Brain fart. No. Thirteen points of damage. Oh. I'll be over here DMing like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said thirteen. I thirteen, will, I please, will, sweetheart. I will add three back. Okay, I'm. I could. I'm. I'm. I'm okay. Could be better. That's so nice. uh, he hits you with his with his great axe, but in hitting you the way that he did, he looks kind of exhausted. So if we go to hit him again, advantage. Boom. Hey, pretty lady. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. Um, you are far away. Yes, I'm very far away. Okay. You got I'm any area of area effect oh, or like uh, yeah, no, I, I have a plan. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna spend another sorcery point to use twin spell. Yeah, boy. Twin yeah. spell. Twin spell, and I'm going to cast a ray of sickness. Do it. Um, Who are you targeting? Vomit. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Vomit. <laughs> so I'm going to target these two. Okay. I have been sickened by this ray. Yeah, you are, you are going to be sickened by this ray. Is it a saving throw or do you do a spell range attack? A range attack. Dozo. Yes. So I'm going to uh, cast it at... Um, 
Yeah, I'll cast it at uh, third level. Do it. Yeah, because, well, if you're going to hit hit my friends. I'll hit you back. I'll hit you back. <laughs> All right. So ranged spell attack. Ooh. 19. Oh my God. 19 plus 6. Hit? Yeah. 25. 19. Yeah, so it's 19 plus Which eight. one did you target first? Um, green. Height. That one hits. Yeah, followed by blue. Second one. Second one is... Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Seven plus six. Thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, thirteen doesn't hit. Yeah, so the second one doesn't hit. But the green one does, so roll, the green roll, one does. roll your damage. So, uh, the green one <coughs> will... My heart Sorry. feels funny. Yeah. So the green one will take uh, 2d8 2D uh, poison damage and must make a con saving yep. throw. Or be poisoned. Or be poisoned. I rolled a 12! Ya poison! Ya poison boy! He's got disadvantage on all of his things. Yeah. Ya poisoned. So green That's one is poison. So 2d6 poison damage. All right. Uh, you good? Are you moving? That boy is poison. Mm -hmm. You good? You finished? All right, Ben, you're up. Okay. Ben. Just around river Ben. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get them to stop their shit again. Hi. Oh. Uh, but this time I'm going to up it up with Thaumaturgy. Oh. Um, and since that's a can trip, like, I, I can just do it, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, so, basically, I want to, I'm going to pull out my drum. Like, like your, like your hillbilly uncle. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull out the drum. And I'm going to just be like, <laughs> it's, it doesn't make sense because if I'm doing it like this, stop it, y'all. Like, <laughs> it's not it, going to like, so, so I'm going to be like, I'm just going to be like, stop. And I'm just going to smack the drum. And with thaumaturgy, <laughs> I'm going to cause uh, a harmless tremor okay. in the ground, um, which is supposed to last for one minute. Yeah. So, but I'm going to do that. Are, you, are you trying to? Are you trying to scare them, or are you trying, trying to, like... Trying to intimidate them enough to, like, stop the yeah, whole fight. Then no! Roll me intimidation with advantage. Ooh! Ooh. Nerve talent. 18... Plus 3. Plus 3. 18, 19, 20, yeah. 21. Oh, scary. They're big scary. They're big band. <laughs> They're watching you hit this drum. <laughs> <laughs> and in time to the drum, the tremors are yes. happening, and they're yeah. just kind of like, What oh, the... Shit. What is this magic? Yeah, they're pretty scared of you right now. What is okay. this magic? Yes, they kind of back down a little bit. They're, they're, they're kind of like... They're, they're kind of like looking at you. Like... And they're looking between themselves like... Is this worth it? You can kind of see them wavering. If anybody wants to like say anything or try to like... Bark! 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 Yeah, cool. <laughs> the blue guy is pissing himself and not laughing. <laughs> He's pretty afraid of you. Yeah, the bear is just probably gonna just do another growl, like claws, claws out, like Wolverine style. Use but that. a bear. <laughs> Standing up. <laughs> the purple one kind of like stands up as straight as he can with all of his injuries, but lowers his axe. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do? Bear's gonna grab the axe. <laughs> bear's gonna grab the axe. No, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't lower. He doesn't actually drop. He's not going to drop his axe. He just lowers, lowers it down. It. Go five feet forward and bark more. Um, I'm debating what bark. to do. Bark. I think like the bear's just like ready. If it, for any like, are you doing any like funny business? He's not going to attack, but he's just kind of like, what are you up to? Okay. He doesn't want to assume he's. I don't want to assume he's. I'm going to walk forward a little bit. Okay. Just a bit. They kind of look a little bit wary of everything, but at the same time, they're really intimidated by you, so... I like of all things, intimidated by the drum boy. The drum boy? Mm -hmm. I tried to be nice. <laughs> Nine, you my did. drum. Nine, piss me off. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> the, it's not really in his character. There, enough of them now, like two out of three of them are now like ap- actually terrified of like two of you. So the, the purple guy, the guy that seems to be like the leader, also the one that's the most injured at this point, mm-hmm. kind of just like nudges the blue guy, looks over to the green guy. Uh, well, they're not actually blue, they're not actually green. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nudges to the guy behind him and looks over to the other guy. He's like, fuck it, we'll get him later. And they start to hmm. retreat. If anybody wants to... There are attacks of so opportunities. he is the one... Not yet. He, he was the initiative before me, so I would have been coming up next, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So then this is happening and the tremors are going. But then if you want to take, like, you've got one attack of opportunity that you can take if you want, and so does the bear. Mm, no, the bear is just looking at Phoenix to make sure he didn't leave. I forgot about him completely. Phoenix, <laughs> when you, like, Phoenix's turn hasn't come round yet. But so he's just there. Okay. I'll say I take a, a swing at uh, the maybe the green one okay. that hit me, Aye! but I'm not intending to hit. Okay. Just like it's a flavor swing. Just like it. Just get the yeah here. yeah. He fucking. Boots I just it. like roar in his face and like do that, <laughs> and along with that, yep. then I charge forward and tackle Red to the ground. <laughs> oh my god! Today is not Phoenix's day. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! Not many people are after me! Save it for the bedroom! 